Hey guys, today we are going to take a look at Beck and Call. So on December 18th, I made a video about how awesome this combo was and how I didn't expect Beck and Call to be 30 cents anymore. It actually was 25 cents and it was a vendor who had 200 copies of this card at 30 cents. So for a $60 investment, you could have made out with a $600. So it's a 10x multiplier. I will be very cavalier how many I have. I have a lot. And it's not because I speculated on them or any of that type of stuff. I play Dragon Maze at least once a month. Dragon Maze boxes, I have cases of it. I got it for $60 a box. Dragon Maze was a terrible set. Uh, fat packs I used to get for $20 from Dave and Adams at a retail. It was retail $20. So I sometimes got them from stores for like $15 or I remember $12.50 for a fat pack of Dragon Maze. I was like, whoa. All right. And so Dragon Maze is great fodder to draft with. Uh, it has 10 commanders. It has these fuse cards. And when I saw it, I was like, huh, this card is super bulk. What is the worst that can happen? So if you had, if you bought 200 copies of this at 30 cents, even if it goes down to bulk, which is, let's say, 10 cents, you only really lose $40. But the upside with the expertise, I feel like the reason this card didn't spike as soon as the expertise came out was half the people didn't understand what the combo was. So I made a video, you can go watch the video, you can read the comments, the comments are incredibly interesting because no one understood how, or very few people understood that the combo actually worked the way the video said it worked. So obviously I had to check out, I've been playing uh, Blood Braid Elf, I've been playing Cascade, brain in a jar the mechanic is not identical but it is so similar you should be able to figure out how it works so on december 18th i made a video i said this was a really good combo and at bulk where else i mean 30 cents for a copy where else can it go except up so the expertises are very good with it again i'm going to explain the combo i'm not going to argue does the combo work how does it work why does it work yeah, yes, it works. Okay, it, it works. And maybe a judge can tell me exactly the mechanics of it because I don't understand. I just know that when you play Yahini's Expertise, what you do is you board wipe. Um, then you play your a Beck portion. So you board wipe. Then you say um, you may ca cast a card with converted man cost free or less. It's going to look for that card. The card's name is Beck. So that back portion is cast, but you can play, you can play both, the, you can fuse it where you get the back and the call. So you cast your back, then next you cast your call, and you go ahead, you get four one ones, and then you draw four, assuming no other creatures are coming into the battlefield this turn. Maybe you even draw more if you play the creature that turn, and that's it. So Let's take another example. The red expertise, which you, allows you to steal a creature. Let's say they play out their Tomogoyf. We play our red expertise out. We steal their Tomogoyf. Then we can cast something that costs two or less. Beck is two. So we can cast Beck and Call because of the fuse. Again, not exactly sure like what, why we can do this or why the mechanics work, but it does work. Uh, and then we get to steal a creature, smash our opponent with the Tamagoyf. We get the back portion triggering four card draws, which we have the four one one white birds, which is the call. So pretty powerful stuff, right? Is it worth thirty cents? No, it's definitely at least worth a dollar fifty. Is it three dollars? I'm not sure. It's one of the things that I, if a deck emerges, even as a tier 1.5 deck or tier 2 deck, it's just fun. Who doesn't want to cast large spells? So that is the reason that Beck and Call has gone up in price. A 1,000% multiplier, which is always very good. You don't see that every day. Anyway, hopefully like a judge can explain exactly what, what happens or why this works. I just know it works. I can't, and I know like basically it's the same type of mechanic as Brain in a Jar 
and cascade mechanics, but um, yes, it works. Anyway, bye guys.